following film contains graphic violence and material that may not be suitable for younger viewers. Parental discretion is advised. gonna be terrible! Hey, what's up ghouls and gals? It's me, Ron and here, and it's Saturday Night! Woo! Alright guys, for today's episode of Saturday Night Horror Theater, we're gonna be reviewing Greta. Alright guys, um, you know the drill. Like all my new movie reviews, I'm gonna keep it short, sweet, simple, and to the motherfucking point. Alright guys, let's get it started. Uh, Greta stars Chloe Grace Moretz. Chloe Moretz, or whatever her stupid name is, looks like my And it also stars this lovely actress whom I've just barely got introduced to today, and I have to say, regardless of whatever I'm gonna say about Greta, this actress did an amazing job in this film playing the titular character. And uh, Greta also stars this lovely actress right here. Um... I'm just gonna straight out. I'm just gonna straight out say this. Uh, Greta is basically what a Starbucks barista would think a horror film would be. It's like if they went to Starbucks and they told the dude at the front counter, "Hey man, do you want to make a horror movie?" And he was like, "Hey, does anybody want coffee?" Oh yeah, I do. And they gave him money to make said horror movie, and then this is what he would make. Like I'm not lying to you. The first thing I thought when the when this movie started rolling was Starbucks hipster made this movie. That's exactly what I thought. A Starbucks a Starbucks hipster made this movie. That's almost like a fucking uh, a tongue tire, you know, like you get your tongue and ties it in the knot. A Starbucks hipster made this movie. Yep, try to say that five times fast. Um, <laughs> all that aside, um, this movie is well shot. It is really well shot. It feels like a really upscale, pretty uh, Starbucks commercial. <laughs> um, Aside from that, uh, there isn't a whole lot of horror in this horror film. This movie is basically a uh, kind of like a spin on single white female. This movie is a stalker film. This uh, film follows uh, Chloe Grace Moretz's character and she's kind of a naive girl who's just lost her mom and she's kind of feeling uh, lost in the world and whatnot and she sort of stumbles upon meeting this older uh, woman named Greta and they start to f kind of form this relationship and bond together and um, it, the film kind of takes off from there and it's kind of your typical you know uh, you end up becoming friends with a psycho you don't want to be friends with that psycho anymore psycho go psycho and it kind of you know it's a really play by play you know the by the numbers kind of movie um, what set this what sets this movie apart from those other movies is that it's int unintentionally funny. <laughs> Greta is really really funny and it doesn't and it's not trying to be funny, which is kind of a bad thing. Uh, there's a couple of scenes where the titular character Greta is acting fucking nuts, but like not like the scary kind of nuts, like the you know Nicolas Cage kind of nuts, where you're kind of like, oh my god, what the fuck are they doing? Kind of nuts. <laughs> I will give this actress credit. She swings for the fucking fences in this movie she is not holding anything back whenever they let Greta act crazy in this movie she acts full fucking crazy but that's kind of the novelty of this film like that's kind of the only drawing factor for this film is to see Greta go crazy I mean other than that this film doesn't really have a lot of weight to it it's kind of a film that is really like stupidly put together and it kind of has a silly goofy premise the film wants you to believe that a strong healthy 21 year old Chloe Grace Moretz would be easily taken out by a like 70 late 60s early 70s woman that's you know all frigid and frail you know and skinny and stuff like that um, I will say this movie towards the end it does go in some really interesting directions but it's not it's not enough to save this movie it's a little it's a little too late you know and um, one thing that I think a lot of fans are, or not fans, a lot of audience members are going to get... <coughs> See, there you go. I must have got drugged by Greta because now I feel fucking sick. What I feel like a lot of audience members are going to take away from this film is that it's ultimately really fucking silly and really a goofy movie. 
And I really hate to say that because I kind of, you know, I had a little bit of uh, expectations and hopes for this movie and this film. And at the end of the day, it kind of crushes those hopes by being a overstuffed movie that kind of doesn't know how to treat this kind of a premise. And for that, I got to give this movie a 4.5 out of 10. Um, this movie is really disappointing. It's not scary at all. It's not really thrilling. Um, again, the only drawing point for this movie would be to, excuse me, would be to see um, this actress act batshit crazy. And, and other than that, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, sorry to say it, but Greta is not that good of a movie. It's a 4.5 out of 10 movie. I'm Ryan T, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.